Hey, Mr. Parker here to review the new one from Ryan Nicholson. This is Collar. Uh, this is uh, from Vulture Video. As uh, my boy Jack Bateman, he basically did a VHS uh, review of the thing of the actual release. And it is a gorgeous release. Nice, uh, clear looking tape. I mean, a uh, clear looking glossy feel to it. And a nice orange tape. Also comes with this, uh, what appears to be a trading card. Looks like a piece of uh, his uh, coat as well on there, which is very cool. And a little poster. With a bunch of nudity. So I will not be showing that, even though the cover art shows it as well, but you guys can't see it as well. Anyways, uh, Ryan Nicholson is famous. Every time I review one of his movies, I have to give down the rundown list. Uh, Got her ball is torched, hanger, live feed, bleeding lady, and uh, what's another one? Famine. Uh, dead nude girls his uh he's been pretty uh busy and active in the independent horror uh you know world uh he also is a, a pretty uh a special effects artist on a lot of major films so you're always going to expect good special effects and collar delivers on the good special effects uh it basically looks uh really rough it's shot on video style uh which i have nothing against i think it's kind of a cool idea but i think the sound suffered a lot in collar i had trouble hearing it you know and a flat screen tvs really aren't infamous for having great sound and uh sound bar wasn't picking up too well with the vcr so the combo was not a good idea for me uh i I really couldn't hear it all that well I must say so I had to kind of turn it all the way up and was listening to the dialogue and the music seemed to bleed in and out the sound wasn't uh, really impressed by it unless it's something wrong with my TV I just had trouble I mean I don't mind if the sounds a little bad but I, I just couldn't hear everything I also am pretty hard of hearing because my uh, line of work uh, but as the plot is concerned, it basically follows a serial killer psycho bum who is abused by a priest and for some reason rapes and eats people. Uh, well, we know the reason, but uh, the eating has kind of threw me off. It's just an add, added uh, gross out thing in there. But uh, what happens is these two kind of, uh, you know, the kids from the beginning of VHS that really are annoying and dislikable filming everything, it's kind of them to the extreme. They're sort of filming this guy, the exploits are hidden in the shadows, filming him rape and murder people, including cops. Uh, it's really kind of dark and gritty and looks really nasty. The killer is probably the coolest part about the movie. He looks very unique, very different. I enjoyed his look. I enjoyed his, uh, uh, you know, his performance I thought was pretty good as well. Uh... And I, I really dislike the people holding the camera you're supposed to, the uh, kids, but I just didn't really buy them. I just couldn't swallow them as characters. And usually Nicholson does kind of have this weird, like, dark, nasty vibe, like in Gutter Balls. And then there's a comedy element. For Gutter Balls, it really works. It's one of the only films I've ever seen work so well with that kind of stuff. It's just kind of, you'll one second be cringing and one second be laughing. It's a very strange uh, mixture of film. He does that kind of in Hangar too, with lots and lots of gross things, and then these kind of over-the-top comic book style stuff happening and the characters all look like comic books i think that uh, collar kind of was trying to go for it but it didn't seem to work as well to me i don't know why i just felt uh that uh, a lot of the violence which automat which most of it looked great most of it looked uh, exceptionally well done was really cartoony for how disgusting the movie actually was which is a real weird uh vibe and mood to it uh i'm not sure how i felt about it so maybe that's the point, but I don't know. I just can't determine what I felt about that uh, as a whole. I'm not sure if I cared for it. Uh, like I said, the killer is probably the best part about it. Uh, he's uh, like unique, pushing the shopping cart, the the murders and things like that. Hated the guy holding the camera, everything about him. Uh, I don't know if he was supposed to be just overacting and stuff like that. I just didn't think he did a good job. I don't know. It's probably you know supposed to be that kind of uh, during towards the end he has a, a, a twist of a character and it's just. Yeah, not caring for that character too much. Just probably just that character in itself. But uh, like I said, if this sounds like it's up your alley, I said there's some brutality, some brutal rapes, some brutal murders, some good special effects in here. Uh, towards the end, it kind of gets a little... Uh, transitions kind of get a little foggy, I mean, with the baby. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, kind of iffy on there. But... Uh, I did enjoy the score, which though although it bled in and out a little bit with the sound issue, uh, I did like it. I thought it was kind of cool and unique, and uh, I thought the the police officer, uh, female police officer, she did a good job. You know, uh, was a trooper, like uh, Nicholson says in the introduction, she was a trooper. Uh, I had a couple more things I wanted to touch on on this movie. Oh, the the backstory. I, I've always been you know a, kind of irritated at the whole priest oriented thing, and I'm kind of like, eh, you know, preservation does it, and I didn't think it really worked well in that movie. I thought it was kind of a, a, a cop out, uh, kind of a going with emotions thing. But I, I got to give it a shout out for this one for the fact that uh, 
in his previous uh, beatings and things like that, he always did something like this as a prayer, and he actually does that as he's an adult, and I thought that was a nice touch. I thought it added some genuity, uh, if that's a word, to it. Uh, it made you kind of believe that this person was due to this, not what he was like this actually from his past. It wasn't just a smorgasbord of stuff, maybe besides the cannibalism. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't understand why he's eating them, but maybe it's just because he's freaking big and he's freaking hungry, which could also be the point. Like I said, a uh, short, uh, kind of a brutal horror flick that uh, some people will like regardless. Uh, I'm going to buy it when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray for sure. Uh, I've liked all of Nicholson's work for the most part. I think he's uh, one of the best indie guys right now. I think his special effects are top-notch. And uh, Gutter Balls, like I said, it's one of my all-time favorites. Uh, and Torch is also very excellent. Uh, this is Collar. You can, I don't even, I, this is probably sold out, so you're probably going to have to wait for a release or have a, a couple bidding wars on here. Uh, unique Killer, uh, dirty looking movie, kind of a mixed bag for the rest. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, here's the trailer.